Hi guys, welcome back to my Xvideos guide. Now, on this week we will get a collaboration event, and yes, we get near Automata again. So finally, A2 and 2B can become seven stars characters on the global. But the point is, yes, the A2 is different from the Japan version. On the Japan version, A2 is kind of like very good character. Okay, like Hyo. She able to use triple cast and have higher skill damage modifier than Hyo. But on the global, it is still mysterious, okay? Because on the global, the six stars abilities are different from the Japan version. And yes, we probably get another nerf on the global version. So on the Japan version, A2 is a double-handed attacker. But on the global, C is a dual wielder. Okay, I'm not saying that that's a bad thing, but maybe it, yeah, not maybe, okay. I believe that this global A2 will be weaker than the Japan version of A2. After all, the Japan is ahead about 8 months ahead of global. Okay, so it is obvious if they release the global A2 on Japan, then no one in Japan gonna pull for her. But... Also, same for the global. If they release A2 Japan version on the global, then she will become too OP for the characters. So I'm really not sure what to say on the mm, on this A2 global version. Okay, but if you take a look on the trust measure on the Japan, the Beast Lord has 140 attack and defense. Wait, wait, wait. I'm not sure. Okay, but. Yeah, I believe that on the Japan version, the Beast Lord, I mean the Trustmaster, has higher attack than the global version. That's already kind of a downer in my opinion, because as a 7 stars, you need to equip Trustmaster to activate your trust ability. And if you need to equip that Beast Lord, then A2 weapon is not that great. And for the Super Trustmaster reward, it is same like the Japan version, okay, 80% attack when you equip great sword and yes that's pretty good because you don't get shitty drawback okay like the subservient you simply only need to equip great sword but you don't need to worry because great sword is one of the most common used weapon on the global so i don't see that is any drawback okay and for the seven stars form of the a2 i don't think it is that good because yeah, A2 is powerful, don't get me wrong, but she lack of chaining partner. That what makes her kinda not tempting in my eyes, okay? I know that some of you may complain, she can one-shot I Gaian. Yes, it's possible because she is an amazing machine killer character, but the point is she cannot chain well. Okay, so you really need a duplicate to chain really well with her and yeah i hope you get a friend that has that okay that i mean that has a2 if you want to use her but on the japan version a2 has absolute mirror equity chaining skill so i believe we may get that in the global too if that's what happened then it is pretty good because she has the chaining partner so makina can chain with her Okay, so enough about A2, now let's take a look on 2B. For 2B, the Japan and Global version are same, at least for the 6 stars version. So I don't see any need to nerf her. Yes, I know that the Japan version of 2B has... Yeah, it. she's a dual wielder on the Japan, okay? But the point is, she has high damage multiplier ability. So... For example, like on the Japan version, if you reach her 7 stars form, she get a move called True Charge Spear, True Charge Fold, True Charge Blade, and yeah, those three are the most powerful, okay? And let's say True Charge Spear deal 13.75 times damage, and yes, that's pretty amazing, especially because she is a dual wielder, that means she gonna deal double damage okay about 27.5 times whoa that's pretty amazing 
And if you use True Touch Spear based on the Japan version, you will also increase your damage modifier 10 times for 6 turns to your Avoid Attack. And on Japan, Avoid Attack has 9 times multiplier. So for the global, mm, Avoid Attack deals also 9 times damage, okay? So that means 19 times damage, 38 times damage. And yes, that's pretty amazing. But again, the weakness is probably same, okay? The weakness is she got no chaining partner. For Avoid Attack, I mean, for True Charge Spear, on the wiki, you can see that uh, it seems that it can chain with a move called Stardust Ray. I'm not sure who has this move, so yeah. At least she has a potential chaining partner in the future, unlike A2 on the global. Maybe, okay, maybe. I'm not sure about A2 global version. We will know it tomorrow after the maintenance. But the point here, for 2B, she has a move called Yorha Formula, Annihilation, Ramboonie Slash, or whatever. This move deal 20 times lightning physical damage, and this move can be chained with Graviton Cannon. So Graviton Cannon is not common on the global version, but like you know that Alice Priest, the newest character on the global, also has a move that can chain with Graviton Cannon. Based on the name Graviton Cannon, this is probably a move that learned by Useless Gunner Joke later, but I'm not sure, okay. But this seems very cool because it deals 16 times damage, so it is pretty big and also it mm, breaks enemy's defense by 65%, so yes, pretty good, but again, I'm not sure how this turn out in the global especially if you don't have LS Priest. But at least right now, right now, okay, I can see that 2B is better than A2 because, yeah, I'm still not sure, okay, maybe they will remake A2's abilities tomorrow, all of them, I'm not sure, let's just wait until tomorrow, but right now, I prefer 2B than A2 because this, at least you can chain with Gravit and Cannon, but I hope they give a2 absolute mirror of equity chaining skill like the Japan version. If that's what happened, then she can kind of compensate that. Okay, but again, let's just wait. So those are the five stars characters on this banner, no new characters, and it's okay. Now for the rest characters. So the first is of course 9S. 9S is really good support unit back then. Okay, the only thing I don't like is her, not her. Okay, his breaking abilities pairing okay so he can break 50% and that's pretty amazing but the pairing is attack defense with magic spirit and that's not good because I have said this multiple times what you want from breaking abilities is attack and magic pair okay those are the most crucial break you need to have okay and also right now we are on the seven star era so if you use 9S, then he is only max at 6 stars, so it is kind of downer for him. And I think he won't be used that often, okay? But he still has some use, okay? His Trust Master is really, really amazing. Because basically with that, you can make anyone into a chainer. Pretty good, right? And if that's not enough, the 40% physical damage mitigation is also very useful, especially against threshold attack. You simply only need to equip it on any character accessory slot and tada, you have emergency support. I recommend you to get at least two 9s, okay? Last year, I only get one 9s I, and I kind of regret it, okay? This year, I'm gonna pull again for one 9s. Next character, if and yes, this is Troll, okay, so you don't need to bother, he's only here only to lower your chance to get 9S, okay, kinda rubbish character, so let's just skip him, okay, the trust master is also bad, it is basically health plus 30%, it is nice for a free trust master, okay, just like, uh, yeah, 
a little bit nice compensation if you miss 9s from your pool at least you get 90% because the after all the trust master is free on the raid event because you get the trust muggle to get the trust master and finally the last character 210 this is another gold on this better okay mechanical heart is really really good don't underestimate it okay it is one of the best trust master for your aoe magic tank or even physical damage tank because the counter healing is oh my god very very useful especially if you don't have q raja tier healer but yeah let's say if you place it on a character like bosh then whoa he gonna heal his health full and you probably don't need any attacker okay so very very good trust measure okay you must get it okay so enough about all the characters now the last question should you summon in my opinion like i have said yes in order to get 9s trust master reward two of them yeah two 9s trust master i mean because you can make anyone into instant chainer and yeah the next is if you are veteran players and you have nine nine not nine sc 2b and a2 then you can try to do a set step up summon because that will mean you will get guaranteed seven stars from your step up okay but for new players i cannot say much okay 2b is powerful if they follow the japan version but i'm not sure about it and they probably gonna nerf her because after all like i said japan version is eight months ahead from the global so if they release the same version of 2b and a2 then they gonna power creep almost all characters on this game and that's very very bad for gumi's business so i really doubt okay maybe they get a little bit nerfed and it already happened with a2 okay so it is all up to you but for me i want chase a2 and 2b okay i'm gonna wait until synergy's banner or even maybe if yeah maybe maybe until our own because i don't i don't say you guys need to follow me okay but you know my party setup and i don't think i need any characters more okay because i think my party composition already very good so i'm gonna skip this banner but really guys if you don't have nine extra smasher and mechanical heart pull for them they are super useful okay this is right event you can see you can get uh their yeah you can get their trust master reward very easily so there's no reason not to get them maybe you want to pass a2 and 2b it is all up to you if you want to get them good but in my opinion the must have is 21o and 9s sorry for repeating it multiple times because yes the trust master are really really good okay so i think that's all you need to know about this banner also on this friday we will get a new hasiko shoyo okay i have said on last week that i'm kind of disappointed with gumi but sorry gumi it is my fault i really really sorry because actually you create a new trial and yes that's amazing so i expect a challenge on this friday because normal hasiko not normal okay past hasiko already very hard the mp drain but right now the name is awakened hasiko so i expect good challenge and maybe many players gonna be complained because they are dead from the hasiko trial on this friday okay but that's just maybe so yeah i think that's all you need to know about this week news thank you very much for watching press the like button and subscribe to my channel for more final fantasy private xvs guide bye bye guys